we required one input page like index.jsp and we required one output page success.jsp and one web.xml file and one spring xml file and we required one controller class hello controller just we know how to create input forms create a simple input form with name and with a submit button and use action here action dot slash hello dot htm so when i should configure this dot htm to my form action in my web dot xml file if my url pattern it is star dot htm yeah and create one web dot xml file in that web dot xml file what we should configure web app web app in between web app and web app we should configure here a surlet surlet name you can use any name here but the same name we have to use it for our spring xml file surlet class org dot spring framework dot web dot surlet dot dispatcher servlet okay and then servlet mapping servlet mapping servlet name hello and url pattern star dot which extensions we need to use here here if you if you want to go through dot htm extensions on your form action the same extensions you need to use here star dot htm so you must need to put dot htm extension for all your input forms every input form must it need to contain along with your action dot htm extension then only your form request it will go to first dispatcher servlet so as per architecture every first form request need to go to dispatcher servlet right so your first request if you want to move to dispatcher servlet for every form you need to maintain this dot htm extension then the dot htm extension will redirect to dispatcher servlet first okay then we required one spring xml file that spring xml file name we should create by using this same hello name so your spring xml file name hello hyphen servlet dot xml file it's actually spring xml file spring configurations you can do spring configurations here and we required one success page and finally one controller class you can write controller class here you can write a controller class here controller something package controller in that controller if you have a class public class hello controller you can implement this class by using first core controller how many core controllers we have to go through interface controller first in this controller interface they given one method handle request public model and view handle request and the input parameters are request and response and method always it will throws exception and in this method you can read your input parameter just i want to say hello string name equal to request dot get parameter of name and finally you need to return what model and view 
so create a model and view object model and view model and view new model and view object in this model and view what we can configure in this model and view you can configure here your success page name and finally a map object create a map object map m equal to new hash map and your required output you can store under map m dot required output you need to keep here some output i want to put here output message output message you just put your map object sorry your required output hello plus name and finally you just return model and view object return new model and view in this model and view you have to configure your required success page name along with your map object then to map this form request to that controller directly you can go through these configurations beans and beans here you can configure bean name bean name url handler mapping now you are going to using here whenever the request is hello.htm you can map that request to hello controller so whenever you submit this request first this request will go to dispatcher satellite by reading this xml file by reading this xml file dispatcher satellite will call this hello controller then finally hello controller what it is returning to the dispatcher satellite to this dispatcher satellite it is returning a model and view object in that model and view it is returning success one name and a map object so one success name it will get here just it will get success name and a map object so for this success name actual output page location it need to ask whom a view resolver so you must need to configure a view resolver here bean class we have one class internal resource view resolver in this view resolver class they given setter methods they given setter methods here property name they given one setter method prefix in this prefix you have to pass value your output page location if it is there in default location you no need to pass anything here just put slash if you are going to use default location web root location if you want to use just put slash and extension of your success page property name suffix your page extension value page extensions they can be dot jsp pages dot velocity pages free marker pages any dynamic presentation page you, you can have if the presentation page if it is there in jsp you need to pass dot jsp here so now after getting this success name it will ask this internal resource view resolver what it will suggest from default location read a dot jsp page by using success name so then it will identify that success page and finally it will return to the user success.jsp in this success.jsp you can read that output data output map object data you can read here by using simple dollar expression okay so here whenever you try to configure by using direct name if you configure to controller in this case by default internally it will use a handler mapping class that class name is bean name url handler mapping so in this case it will use bean name url handler mapping and your spring xml file name it should be start with your same surlet name surlet name hyphen surlet dot xml file in case if you don't want to use this name 
if you don't want use this name if you want to configure your required naming convention is cute I don't want to use this name just I want to configure spring.xml file in that case you need to configure init parameters here we can go through init parameters and we can go through context parameters there are two more types of configurations here by using init parameters you can configure your required xml file name by using context parameters also you can configure your required xml file name so here in case if you don't want follow naming conventions in that case you no need to maintain by using this hello name instead of using this hello name if you want to go through that spring.xml file you should configure here a init parameter you should configure here here a init parameter init parameter param name param name is context config location Basing this context to config location, basing this context to config location parameter name, you need to configure a parameter value. Under that parameter value, your Spring XML file location you need to pass. If it is there in WebNF, you can pass Spring dot XML file parameter value. And finally, you can go through Sarlet mappings. Sarlet name hello and url pattern star.htm so by using these configurations you can change your xml file name default actually we have to create by using hello hyphen xml file if you don't want to use that name you can configure a init parameter here context config location by using this name you can configure your required xml file and we have one more type configuration by using init parameters actual xml file we can configure in three ways one is by by using select name hyphen select dot xml file or else by using init parameter or else by using context to parameter spring xml files you can configure by using in case of default case by using your servlet name or else by using this init parameter or else by using context to parameters also you can configure init parameters we need to write in between servlet and servlet right context parameters we need to write outside the servlet inside web app directly you can configure context parameters so here you can close this servlet and you can configure context to parameters you can configure context to parameters here context to parameters and along with this context to parameters you need to configure a listener class how to configure listener by using tag listener only right listener the listener class name is context loader listener so this one is third type of configuration so either by using init parameters or by using this context parameters listener and context parameter configuration or else by using same servlet name you can go through any approach